Hi everyone, it's Gina. Welcome to my channel. I am back with you today. I want to add pockets and pieces of ephemera and you know just kind of get it all together. We're getting into the holiday season and this is very much not um, Christmassy. <laughs> so I do kind of want to have a fall theme though and so I have gathered little pieces of ephemera some I've made on my own, but there's also a lot in here that I've made on my channel over the course of the years. And so I gathered items that I thought may be something that would work for the journal. Obviously, I'm not going to put all of this in here. That's a lot of, a lot of items. And I do want it to mostly be a writing journal. And this one I will keep for myself. I do enjoy writing, and so I, I want to have plenty of places to write. But I also want to have some fun elements in it as well. I hope you stick around and join me. This part should be fun. So the first thing I know I want to do is I, I know I want pockets on the front and back cover. So I'm going to go ahead and do that first. So I've actually got a couple of things in here that are just big pockets um, that I think will work just fine. And I think I'll put the green one in the front. And then this one can go in the back. Okay, I've rounded the corners on top. I just like that look, although I did leave them 90 degree angle at the bottom. I've got my art glitter glue, and that's probably mostly what I'll be using for this project. But we'll see. I also like to use Fabri-Tac and then my regular glue stick. So those were probably my three main glues. This video may run long, so there'll probably be parts that are sped up, but I'm gonna try to keep you with me for as much of it as I can. You know you've seen me do this before. I always take a paper towel and really push it down. It just helps to wipe away some of the glue that may ooze out on the sides. So there we go. So this one has a little pocket here, which is actually more of a tuck. It's got a pocket here, and now, it, oops, <laughs> when the glue dries, it'll have a pocket here as well. All right, let's do the back. This just has the one pocket here, and I'll do the same thing, glue around the edges so that I have an additional pocket in the back. Okay, now let's see what we will do with the inside pages. Hello friends, I am terribly sorry. I was editing the video and realized that I have lost footage. And for any creator who has worked on a project only to find out that some of the footage is lost or corrupted, it is just devastating. So it's going to look like it skips ahead, which it does, but I just wanted to pop in real quick and explain what happened. You're not crazy and I didn't mess up editing, I messed up filming. <laughs> Or my camera did anyway. I do go back through it from start to finish so you will get to see all of the pages. Just please forgive me, bear with me, and please keep watching. Thank you. Alrighty. So for this page, I think I will probably just leave it a writing page. It's not that dark so I can write on it. But I thought it would be fun to add some little lines here and there. And I had this recipe stamp from Bow Bunny. I don't want all the recipe information. I just wanted the lines. I could draw lines with my ruler, but I thought I would just try to stamp this. So I've used painter's tape to cover the parts I don't want stamped. And I'm not too concerned with, you know, where they are or where the placement is. To finish off this page, I thought I would add some butterflies to kind of tie in with the butterflies over here. And to give the page a little bit of color, I pulled out the ones that I thought would go. Looks like a little bee joined the fun. Let's see, is there any bees? <laughs> no, these are all butterflies. Okay, fine. Just butterflies. I think we'll go with that. This little guy up here. Okay, 
I just want to knock back that white edge just a little bit. Okay, that page is done. Now, these are see-through, so we want to put something really pretty in here. So, what have we got? It's got a flower on it. It can go. Here's another one. I don't know if that will it might go up here. You know, there is just so much stuff that is just so cute that I want to add. <laughs> I want to put this autumn uh, circle that we did in. Th this was the previous video. I'm not sure if that's where I want it though. But, oh my gosh, there's so much cuteness. Here are little cluster. Um, I what about this? Now this is just a very just super simple tiny little cluster thing I made just some, from some scraps and then that little heart. I know it's not quite the same yellow but maybe that would bring in some some of that pretty yellow color down here. I think I will do that. Are. That's very cute. Here we go. <laughs> I found a home for this little guy. I might even could fit this one in as well. I can't say I'm overjoyed with these, but I think I'm going to keep moving for now. I kind of like this little bee. <laughs> he needs a home. There's still bees out in the fall. They're not always very happy, but they are still around. So let's see. Can this little guy go? I kind of think he should go right here. I want something down here. I'm just going to put him down there. Yay! <laughs> Bee has a home. What's next? I figure in here we could put this one because it goes with this paper. So that could sit right in here. Um, oh, okay. I think that will be fine. Uh, look what I remembered that I had. This came as an ephemera pack to one of the kits, I don't know, several months ago, but it included a ton of ephemera. It was just an ephemera heavy kit, and so I'm thinking there's probably some good stuff in here. So I'm going to take a second and kind of go through it and see if there's anything I can pull out that would work. All right, so a lot didn't go, <laughs> but there are some things that I think may have a place somewhere in the journal. So I pulled those out. So there might be something in here that will work. Uh, look, this is a nice big card, and I love plants. Hold on. I'm going to jump back here. I wonder if this will fit in my back pocket. Oh, barely. Come on. Oh, yeah. There we go. <laughs> Yay. All right, let's get back. <laughs> I thought that was cute. Kind of pulled in the colors. Keep it simple. That's a great lesson. I'm not sure though. Kind of like this one better. Okay. But, um, what about these? This is from a video a long time ago and it's altered paper clips. Now it's not the video that most of you are thinking about, um, but this one goes way back. <laughs> this was Probably my first stab at making an altered paper clip. And some of these are nice. I think I have some Christmas ones in here too. That's not going to work. Okay. Some of these go from the side. They don't always uh, go from the top. So let's see. All right, that one goes on the side. I can't use that. And okay, that's the side one. So, I might could use about that one. Let's see. I'm going to stick that there. 
and have it just hold a couple little pieces down here. All right. That kind of goes. I could bring that in here, add yet another pocket. Oh, let's go for it. And this I just decoupaged with the napkin over top of um, just torn pieces of dictionary, and I did it on a sticky note. <laughs> Let's see, I think it actually goes like that. There we are. Got some oozing. Hold on. There's a tag that kind of goes with that. I don't know, is it too much? <laughs> kind of covers this, doesn't it? Okay, we'll save that. That's sweet. So I think that will do for that. These pieces could be a little bit dark. Well, I've already glued that one down. <laughs> so. Well, another alternative would be one of these paper clips, hidden paper clips, which is the video you are thinking about. <laughs> and. Alright, it kind of lightens things up a little bit. And this just can be kind of dark. <laughs> That's okay. Maybe I probably should have put him over here. I can slide him on. The perfect day. I don't really have anything in here yet. Today is your opportunity to build the tomorrow you want. Isn't that the truth? All right, I might need to clip these. I wish I had a color that went and could tie it in over here. Okay, yeah, let me see if I can find something else. All right. Well, there is this. I have that. I could bring in the green. I've got this one. This is also something I made just a while back on my own. But I wonder if I could just maybe put it around this like so I just have that peeping up there I think I'm gonna leave that as it is for right now all right this will be a place to write let me add just a little bit of color will do for right now. I might leave that blank. Um, okay, here we have our envelope. We can put some stuff in here for sure. Um, I have these that I made. And this was not on the video. They're just kind of fall color tags that I made. Oh, there they go. There. Okay. Mm, might be a little too full. Put just a couple in there. That might be fun. Could cut this down. I was going to put it on like this somewhere, but you know what? I could do it like this. Let's see. Okay. Right there. <laughs> All right, that's kind of fun. And I think I'll put this in it. This is something that I was playing around with and I just used it to punch out and I decided to color it and I thought it turned out really cute. Let's see if it fits first. Oh, good. Oh, that's so cute. I feel like I ought to stamp something on it. a little crooked but that's ah, okay let's see there oh that's cute 
cute. I might could just stick a few of these in here to add some color. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah. We got to the middle. <laughs> I think I'm actually going to stop right there. That is just crazy. I only made it halfway through. <laughs> I only made it halfway through the first signature. Oh my goodness! This is my first one. I guess as I continue to make these, things will get easier and I could be able to move a little bit faster. But hey, for now, it is what it is. So if you're still with me, thank you so much for hanging in there. I'm going to clean up and then I'll do a quick flip through of what we did today. All right. We have our pocket on the inside cover. And we have embellished it, and we have added some fun little items. I love this piece. It goes in here, and we found this piece that goes up here. Okay. And then one of my little, little circle pockets. And I added this piece where I may write my name, or maybe uh, give the journal a title. Here we have a couple of belly bands that right now are just holding these little flip pockets that were supposed to be pads <laughs> that I never made the pads for, but that's okay. And this little pocket over here, we have this little embellishment and another little place to write. Flip this over, and we have more writing area here and more writing area here. And this page, we, we had this page that had all of this color on it, and for now, these are placeholders, I think. I don't know that I'm happy uh, leaving them here, but for now, they will do. We have these little guys that come in here, try to tie everything together. Okay. And on this side, we've got a hidden paper clip that's holding some little pieces of ephemera that I can journal on. And in this pocket, again, there's uh, lots of places to journal. I was just thinking I may trim that down to match. That would be kind of cool. And on this side, we have this little pocket. And then this card. This is almost like a bookmark. This goes in here. And on this side, we have a paper clip that's decorated, that's holding up this little card, the cute birds on it. And we left this page blank, just inked around the edges. This one has our envelope that flips out. And inside it has some really pretty fall colored decorative tags. So they're kind of messy on the back, but I don't mind. I may not even put anything on them. There's, well that one's pretty clean. but. I can still write and it just adds a little interest to it so I'm not too worried about that. And we have this cute little tuck right here and I love this. Put this little window here and I just thought this was so cute. I just was punching out. I wasn't thinking that it was going to turn into anything. It was just white cardstock, and uh, I got playing around, added some color, and it turns out to be the perfect size. So isn't that funny? We have a place to journal down here. And that brings us to the center, and that is where we're going to stop. That is it for today. Thank you so much for sticking around. I would love to hear your thoughts about what I've done so far. Thank you so much for your patience with me. This is the first journal I've done. I've made tons of ephemera, except for I have a Christmas journal, but this is, I don't know, this is really different. <laughs> this is the first time I've had to really fill a whole bunch of pages. So I appreciate all of you who stuck around and definitely give me the thumbs up and like and share and leave a comment and all of that jazz. It really does help my channel and I so much appreciate it. All right, that's going to be it for this one. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.